the the first important thing I see uh, again uh, how to keep spread in the future. So um, uh, Agustin that is in charge of this he put in a country with so li little open source culture where volunteers and professionals are extremely overloaded with their w own work per path. It is time to create opportunities for uh, so that's the problem of uh, they all overwhelm this the current work so mm -hmm. it's very difficult to keep the, <coughs> the these people in the long term working mm -hmm. so maybe it's easier to do one crisis camp every Saturday uh, to get them working but also you will get two or three people on every crisis camp if you do it uh, so um, um, frequently frequently yeah. Um, Okay, so clearly NGOs weren't notified that all the resulting work will be open source. Uh, that was an issue the next week. Uh, that's because uh, one NGO take two projects and finally, uh, for them, uh, the crisis camp works as a, as a initial project. Uh, so they take the project and work with a with a private company to complete the development of the project. Do, do you understand that? So uh, uh, was a great kickoff for them, but then they didn't get came back to continue working with us. So they hire a software company to complete all the kickoff <coughs> that we made uh, on the crisis camp. That was very sad. Um, so the project was originally open source, created within the camp and then the NGO took it away and developed it further and didn't provide. We didn't communicate that, so it's a, it's a fault. Again, we didn't, we do all open source, but we get to the crisis camp and it's all crazy and you don't stop at yeah. time to tell the people that, that, that stuff, so. Although that, it's, that it's there's an impression that you could do that, that was fine, you could, we'll take it as far as you need to and then you take it wherever you want after that was. Yeah, that was a, that was a global do, problem there was uh, that because there was no, because it, there was no license assigned to the... No, uh, and then I start with the Bitbucket project that we have a Bitbucket that is like a GitHub. Uh, yeah, GitHub. Yeah. Um, so I, I put in every page Meet and GBL to uh, license, so... Uh, yeah. but, but it's me, uh, it's people didn't care, and even the yeah. developer don't care. There, yeah. there were situations where, where uh, people will come in and use this as their test market for their idea for their startup. Yeah. There, and Hunter knows that one. Oh, yeah. um, there's stuff in UK where people oh. came in. So, so we learned a lot about project management and protection of of what we are and what we're going to do and and uh, what happens with that. No, I'm sorry, Pedro. Are you finished? Sorry. Uh, so no, I have a couple more. I think it's important. Okay. I, I, I didn't write this down, but uh, I'm trying to explain what uh, it's important to com communicate whatever what is a crisis crisis camp. That's uh, and sync the expert. Yeah expectation of volunteers and NGO. That's mm. a big, big issue. Um, that day came many volunteers, not only from the digital world, they want to collaborate, collaborate with their experience of having been in the field, because we have people that go to the zone, take pictures and came back. Was well, That's other, sorry. Uh, no, well, well, we, um, sorry. Uh, uh, that's, we need to sync the expectation, because the volunteers arrive, and if we don't uh, know what are the expectations of the volunteer. Um, sometimes they um, we lose the volunteer. Uh, for example, a volunteer, uh, some volunteers start arguing with the uh, NGO and get mad, and three of them get out of the crisis camp. Hopefully, they came to me first and tell me, well, don't worry, we are Digital Esportilla and we want to work again. But please, we don't want to see that NGO again because they are so, uh, I don't know their name. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, um, um, ah, and and also, we need to communicate that NGOs, to NGOs and uh, any uh, other initiative, that we are not only focused on developed software. That That's very important because finally, all the NGOs game came here because they feel we were a free software factory. So that's very mm -hmm. important. That's uh, and uh, also, we love something about the problem with the other NGO that take the software to do with a private company. 
But we realize if they know that they also can go to a crisis camp to use the knowledge of the people to uh, as a <coughs> brainstorm, and we, we can build innovative solutions and make the kickoff. Well, as you said, it's not bad. I, I think it's very good that crisis camp also can be used to, to be a kickoff. Maybe some NGO have, and in Chile, and maybe in the world, they have uh, IT guys. But they are so focused on the problem, so they can come here and get our help as experts innovating. Mm -hmm. Research. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it's I think we like that. To, we got, we got we've got to move on. So yeah. And the got, biggest issue, long term. Long term, long term, long term, long term.